In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the number one strategy of the ultra wealthy to avoid taxes and get the lowest interest rate loans humanly possible or even imaginable or fathomable to humans. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alex Ramosi. I own acquisition.com. It's a portfolio of companies over hundred million dollars a year. I make these videos because I'm insane and I like being in wife beaters in a closet. I'm kidding. I make these because a lot of people are broken. I don't want you to be one of them. And I too was broke for a very long period of time and it sucked. And so I hope that we can at least attenuate that situation so that you can then ask the larger questions of what is even worth it to begin with. And you can come to those conclusions on your own. That being said, how do I get it. One to 2% loans, or as they call them, margin, right? Loans on margin uh, to buy shit, right? Or buy more assets or whatever. All right. So quick overview of what this topic is. You've heard me maybe talk about this in other videos, which is like, if you have, let's say $100,000 in stocks, okay? You have $100,000 in stocks, depending on who you work with. If you work with a more established bank and you have a longer relationship with them, let's say you you know, bank or you do wealth management with Merrill Lynch, you will have a banker and they will tell you how to do this. But I'm guessing that if you ask the question or you're curious, or you clicked on this video, you don't have that. All right. So those banks will typically give 50, 60, sometimes 65% of the total assets in your portfolio as a asset backed loan, which is a margin based loan. All right. And so that means that if I had a hundred thousand dollars and I had 65% that I could take as a loan, then I could get an additional $65,000 at one to 2%, which is crazy. Mind you, the interest rates can change over time, but for the, you know, for a very long period of time, it's been one to 2%, all right? Which is very, 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 very low. And the nice thing about this is that there's no closing costs, there's no fees, there's no startups, there's no nothing. You just pay the interest while you hold the money. And all you have to do is pay it back and then your interest payments stop. All right, so it's nice as a revolving credit line for stuff that you wanna make a quick purchase and then give it back, all right? That is how it's you do buying on margin, all right? That's, the, that's where the term comes from. Many of you guys have asked, how do I actually do this? Great question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel together through the, the realms of time and we're gonna use this new mystical mystical thing. And I wanna, I wanna teach this process to you because I think that it's very, very valuable. It also serves you for answering any of the questions that you have in your life. Google, all right, so take loans against stocks. Let's see here. Oh, look, it looks like there's a lot of people who are willing to do this for us. Let's see if Alex did something ahead of time. He sure did. We clicked this guy and let's see what it says. They explain a little bit more how useful. And if I wanted to borrow on margin, da, 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 apply for margin. That's all you have to do. And if you're like, well, I don't bank with Fidelity. Well, I'll bet you that wherever you bank, they do this. Now let's say uh, Robinhood margin, margin, oops, margin loans. There we go. Let's look here. What is margin investing? Let's click. They give us an answer. Unlike it's the deposits, blah, blah, blah. You can upgrade to Mar Robinhood Gold. That's how we have to do it. And that will allow you to then borrow on margin. And so all you have to do is sign up, upgrade to Robinhood Gold. Let's see what it does. Da -da -da. All right. And so a reason I do this is because sometimes I get questions that have answers that are Googleable. And so please, for the love of God, one of the best ways to stay poor is to have a question and then not Google the answer. Post a comment in something and then say, well, I guess I scratched my itch. I asked the question. No, find the answer, right? And so the reason that this by margin-based loans, things like that are useful is that they are tax-free. All right, so if you wanted to pay for stuff, and this is what the ultra wealthy do, when they go IPO and they've got a billion dollars worth of stock in something, they just take loans against those stocks. They don't have to pay income tax. They take loans against the stock, they buy stuff, and the amount that the stock goes up year over year exceeds what they borrow. They can borrow more and they keep doing that until they die and never pay taxes. All right, that's how this works. Now, the risks. So the risks of doing this are that, let's say for some reason you borrowed at and I think uh, there's other ones. There's like M1 Finance. I think is one that I that I heard of that does up to 35 percent, and the percentages will vary based on the size of your portfolio, how long you've been doing business, blah 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 blah. Right, and so it's usually 30 to 60 percent ish. All right, and so let's say that you took out a 60 percent, you max this puppy out right on your hundred thousand dollars. Let's say that your portfolio, because of a crash in the marketplace, drops to fifty thousand dollars. So you took 60, right, and now your portfolio is worth 50. Well, to to, to be in accordance with the, the risk tolerance that they have, you need to be 60% of the new $50,000 value, which means that's $30,000 is what you're allowed to borrow, which means you have to pay back the 30 of the 60 that you borrowed originally. <gasps> and if you don't have the money, they sell your shit. <clears throat> Crazy, I know, it sucks. That being said, that is the risk. And that is why people lose their asses on margin. Now, as a quick transition to this, the reason, um, and you might ask, Alex, do you borrow on margin? I have in the past, I have also repaid it back quickly. I tend to use margin for very short term type things. So like six months, 12 months, transaction stuff. So like if I do like private lending for hard money loans, things like that, that's a perfect thing for me. So it's like if I'm making 12% or 15 or 20% on the money from a hard money loan, I can borrow at one to two and I know I'm gonna get paid back and the money that I'm lending out, I'm securing against another asset. So if they don't pay me back, I get the asset and then I can sell the asset and pay it back, right? That's how I do it. That being said, 
I am not a huge, like at this current moment, this current juncture in time, I have zero debt, not even a mortgage. And you may be like, Alex, you're crazy. Probably, probably. But for me, I sleep really well at night knowing that I just don't owe anyone anything. And for me, the objective of money was freedom, not more money. Just a side note. Now, I do subscribe to something Dave Ramsey said that really resonates with me. He said, I'm paraphrasing, that debt is a version of risk. And risk, if extended over a long enough time horizon, exposes you to zero, meaning you can lose it all. And since life is long, that means that there is a high possibility between now and the time you die that you do have one of these situations where you could get exposed to zero. And for me, I would rather not sacrifice what I do have and that I do want and need for more of something that I don't want or necessarily don't need. Because me doubling my money makes no difference in my life, but me losing all my money makes a very big difference. And so for me, why risk something that I don't wanna lose for something that I don't need? And so for that reason, I have been not a big leverage proponent in general. I am very, very under levered in general, all right? And so I have run my life that way and I focused my life on increasing the value of the assets that I have. I'm mean, just continuing to do that rather than juice everything through debt. And that's just not my game personally. And we still built a nine figure net worth without any of that. And so I think you can do it. And maybe I'm silly, which is very possible. And maybe when I'm 60, I'll think that I was an absolute idiot for thinking that way. It's very possible because you know what? We learn things and we grow. But as current state, Alex in 2022, uh, April, I, uh, I don't think that. So anyways, keep being awesome. Keep crushing Mosey Nation. I hope they give you some illumination to like, how do you do margin loans? Um, my recommendation to you as a final parting words and disclaimer around this is that if you are going to partake in this, in this risk, okay, because it is risk, borrow significantly less than the limit. All right. So if you want to use the, your, you know, borrow on margin, borrow 10%, borrow 20% tops, keep it way underneath so that there's literally no way that a margin call would come up where you'd actually have to sell some of your stuff. Because the thing is, is the moment when they get you to sell it is the moment when it's worth the least, all right? So you get double hosed, all right? So you lose the power of the money that you had and then you have to sell stuff at a massive loss, all right? So that's when you wanna be buying and instead you're selling and that's what crashes markets. A lot of people borrow that way and that's when they ride the bull and bear cycles and we wanna be a little smarter and try not to do what everyone else is doing so that we can have what no one else has, all right? So Mosey Nation, keep being awesome. I make these videos because I enjoy it, apparently. And uh, I do this because, you know, maybe some of you guys will crush it and cross 3 million or 10 million and, and uh, wanna work with us at acquisition.com so we can get you to 50 and beyond. So keep being awesome. Love you all. See you in the next vid. Bye.